It's been a while, so I just want to welcome everyone back to my channel and everybody who is new here. Um, I've honestly just been really loving doing short form content and I really prioritized that over the year and that meant that my YouTube channel I wasn't posting as frequently, but I still love YouTube and YouTube is still my number one. So obviously I really want to get back into it. I've never done anything like this before, but I thought it would be a very interesting concept and it's definitely not a concept that I invented. Um, as you guys can tell from the title, um, I titled this like an anti-haul items I bring out every single autumn season. I really tried to edit this down to like my favorite things of all time that I've had for at least three years. And in this day and age where fast fashion and like um, retail is just so quick, um, it's kind of a, sadly, <laughs> it's kind of a feat when you've had something for five plus years in your closet or even three years. Um, I've had a lot of these things since 2018, 2017. It's going to be 2023. So they've definitely have stood the test of time for me. Um, and I do bring them out every single year. So this is kind of like, I know anti-haul generally is like a video where people talk about the things that they aren't going to be buying, but this is more things that I bought like five, three to five, maybe six years ago that I still am wearing every single year and I love dearly. I'm gonna share every single one, how I've worn them, how I'd wear them now. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna be a long video, um, but you never know nowadays now that I've been able to edit things till 30 seconds. So let's just get into it. Let's talk about inspo first. When I think of fall, you guys can check out my Pinterest board. I have like a thousand pins on my fall and winter style board. I'm from Toronto where we do have like four really full, brilliant seasons and fall and winter is definitely like our longest season. I definitely am more accustomed to cold weather than warm weather, weather than warm weather and fall is my favorite season by far. So inspo I look to every single year is definitely Rory Gilmore, Girl, Gilmore Girls in general. Love them. Um, I just think it's like, they just have like really classic fall, yummy, like cozy looks. Other inspo I always look to is Jane Birkin. I just like love her effortless style. Um, I love looking at references of her and just how she was able to carry herself. I also love Kate Moss, Nicole Richie, Rachel Bilson um, from the early 2000s, that very like bohemian put together effortless style. Um, and then in terms of more like newer references like this year um i really love obviously like i love kendall jenner's um the way she's been styled in her casual style obviously hailey bieber but um yeah and then also there's certain movies i really really love to reference so like the parent trap is like a huge one for me i could go on and on and on but i won't but yeah, I have been talking about personal style with my sister and I can go on and on about this. If you guys want me to do like a video about how to find your personal style, I definitely can. That's a whole different video that I can talk about and make points of. But if you ever hear me speaking about certain references, um, that's how I build my own inspiration board. Let's get into the actual items. The first item, you guys know it. I've talked about this so many times. I don't even know why I'm still talking about it now. Um, it's my Louis Vuitton bucket bag. They actually don't sell this in current style, but if you go on eBay, they're very, very affordable. I actually got mine for $135 in 2017 on a trip to Japan with my grandmother. Um, I had to get it relined because the lining was sticky and I'm very happy I did that because I've gotten so much wear out of it. Um, it does come with like a little coin pouch too. I don't know how much they are now. They probably have gone up in price, but I just think it's such a good bag. It's such a good size. They have it in a bigger size as well, um, which I also love, but this is just perfect for me. Like I thought the Speedy was going to be perfect, but this has really, really stood the test of time for me. And I love how it's patinaed, how it's worn. Um, it's really, really good quality. I just like, I'm obsessed with this bag. You guys can see from like how many outfits I've styled with this, how much I love it. Um, I also personally think Louis Vuitton monogram just goes with every single thing. So, and again, I got it for under $150 and there are things from Zara that are over $150. So if you think about it that way, this was a really good deal. Um, I'm going to show all the bags, I guess, because why not? Moving on here. I haven't brought her out recently because she's definitely more a summer bag for me but this is my Prada backpack. The reason why I haven't brought her out is because she actually broke. I just, I just decided 
that she's a girl. See how it broke here? It's not like, it's just more a cosmetic thing. I mean, technically it's functional too because it doesn't stay closed. And there's no way to really repair this um, like with the original pieces. So I think I'm just going to leave it be. But I love my, bra my Prada backpack. I think I got this for about 200 maybe. I don't know. Like it was a long time ago off of eBay on a Japanese resale website. Um, if I had to go back, I probably would have sized up, but like the mini thing was very in at the time and I still love it. And I love that the color is a little bit different. Um, I'm definitely planning to repurchase this in a bigger size because this bag is just so good for travel. And I personally don't worry about pickpocketing or anything because it's very difficult to actually kind of get into and like pull out the whole thing. And the way I wear it is almost kind of like a purse. I'm always wearing it kind of like under the crook of my arm like this. I love this just because it goes with everything. Um, again, it's a bag I travel with. It packs extremely flat and it fits a lot despite its small size. And I've worn it so many different ways. I love a good little backpack in the fall especially. And there are a few on eBay. I'll list a few here now just because I really love this bag. I think it's a classic and um, definitely something that you'll never get sick of. The last bag is not designer, thankfully. This actually doesn't have a label, I believe. Let me see. I don't think I've ever seen a label in this, no. Okay, so unfortunately this does not have a label, but it is just a faux leather or pleather nude bag. And I originally bought this at the thrift store. I think it was $6. Um, I love that I can tuck the handle in and wear it as a clutch. I love the color of it. The quality of it is actually really good, even though I only got for $6 at the thrift store. But like, it's very, very hardy. Like it's super, like it's just in super good condition. And it feels expensive, even though there's no indication of what it's made of or anything. But um, I think just like a small little dainty bag in neutral color from the thrift store is just a timeless piece um, and something I've worn since maybe 2019 or 20 honestly it's been a while with this guy but I love it it also kind of reminds me of the Dior saddlebag which is why I, re I initially bought it but I love how long it has been able to last with me and how timeless it is and then I only surprisingly I only have one pair of shoes here that I really, really want to show you guys and um, have lasted me so long and then I bring out every single year. I want to be very, very, um, I want to be very, very, I'm trying to find the word, partial, I guess. They're not partial, but like I just want to be very selective when it came to this edit for my anti-haul. Um, but it is these Zara boots. They come out with these every year. They're made of real leather. Um, I'll try to link a similar style if you're looking for something like this, but they are just a platform boot with like no label, no anything. They're definitely chunky and personally so comfortable. I've worn these everywhere. I've literally worn these around the world. I just love them so much and the way they have worn, like I just think they're really great and they look far more expensive than they were. I think they were under a hundred bucks, but for real leather, I feel like that was pretty decent. I just think you can't go wrong. I think when you're looking to build a timeless wardrobe too, definitely steer away from anything super flashy or something that makes the piece very apparent of the time. Um, if you're just looking for something and you're a little torn, but I love the shape of these boots. I will never get rid of these as long as they hold up. And so far they have. And I've walked cobblestone, I've walked snow, I've walked everything in these and they have lasted and I love them. The next thing I have here, um, which is actually like, I thought this would be like a good kind of story to share almost in the way that this is a nasty gal coat. I think it was the last collaboration I ever did with them. We just moved into our apartment. I think now I wouldn't personally shop at somewhere like this just because I really value the quality of my pieces and to make sure that things are going to last and like, um, you know, all that stuff. But I must say that this coat was actually a really good piece and I think it's a very versatile piece. Um, it, it is just basically this oversized faux leather jacket. Had I had to go back and pick something like this with my own money, I probably would have went with something either vintage or something that was going to be warmer than this but I think style wise I really love this coat. I just wanted to pop this in here because realistically we all have fast fashion pieces. We've either bought impulsively or whatever in our closet from our past um, and even if you don't really shop at those websites now necessarily um, it's important to still give them life and still wear them if you own them because it is equally as wasteful. 
if you just toss them <laughs> or if you're just over them in a hot second. So really think about, regardless of where you buy things from, you just have to think about like how long you're going to have them for. So yeah, this may be from Nasty Gal. I may not necessarily shop there now, but it's something I love and I'm always going to keep as long as it will have me. And generally, it's in very, very good condition. I actually really, really like this. Something I reach for every single fall and goes with dresses, skirts, you name it. It's funny because like Aritzia is so known for their leather pants or vegan leather pants, I should say. Um, but the one item, and I do have their vegan leather pants and I love them, um, but... I would say if you had to invest in anything vegan leather from Aritzia specifically, it would be a leather skirt. This is something I've worn so much. Like, I can't even tell you. It just goes for every single occasion. This one's Babichon. I don't believe they carry this specific one anymore, but I will link a similar one. I know it's just a gray hoodie, but this is my favorite hoodie of all time. And it is the Russell Athletic Extra Large Hoodie. I thrifted this probably. I don't even know where it's from. Like, that's how long ago it was. I definitely was still living at, like, my mom's, you know? It's been a really long time. It is my go-to all-time favorite sweater. There's something about how Russell Athletic fits, like, the vintage ones fit specifically. That is so good and I've never found a sweater like this and the more I wash it, the better. It's 100% cotton, which is something I always look for when it comes to like sweatpants, leisure like wear and stuff like that because I know it just will feel better the more and more you wash it and I know it will last. I know they sell these on eBay, they sell them on Poshmark and they're kind of pricey now. I had no idea like that I would like this so much when I got it, but it's just like the perfect fit, the perfect everything. And another bonus of it that I love, which obviously wasn't intentional, but it matches my next item perfectly. And this is actually a repurchase. So I haven't had these specific sweatpants for the same amount of time as everything else, but I've had them for at least two years. Um, but I have multiple pairs of these because I love them so much. And I was nervous about sharing these because the brand itself isn't necessarily the most size inclusive and all that but I have to be very honest with you guys at the same time I do have alternatives for these um that I also love just as much I just haven't had them for just as long I've worn these so much during the pandemic I literally ripped multiple holes in the butt like that's how much I wore them I literally wore them till they disintegrated into shreds um and I just can't get over the fit of them they are the Brandy Melville just simple classic sweatpants they come in a bunch of different colors but one thing I notice is that the gray ones are just the softest, they feel the best, you have to get the specific like Heather Gray Brandy Melville sweatpants and now there is only one location in Toronto so they're kind of difficult to get so I treasure these and I, when I go to different countries <laughs> that have more locations of Brandy Melville I make sure to pick a pair up because of how much I love them. But I'll show you guys an alternative. You can get these at Costco if you're lucky or winners or just their website. They are the Lazy Pants. They have a very similar fit to the Brandy Melville sweatpants, except they don't have pockets on the women's ones, which is so unfortunate. I really wish they did. Um, and then the next thing is, is that they come in a bunch of different sizes, colors, and I'm pretty sure the fabric is consistent, unlike the Brandy Melville ones. I've just only had these for about a year and a half, so again, I don't wanna speak too much of them, but they wash well, they're perfect, I stain them so much and they always come out and they're really really good the only thing i'm apprehensive about is okay it's very subtle on these because i've literally washed them so much but i wish they were plain and didn't have the logo but obviously i understand why they do but i love my lazy pants i just think they're so comfortable just wish the girls ones had pockets you know what i mean like literally I have a sock in these because i was wearing them earlier next item i have here is one that i thrifted back in 2019 this is the ralph lauren striped oversized shirt now looking at it i was really into oversized at the time and this is like a tad like a tad big like to wear dressy um i think it's just a little too big but it's definitely a good casual top um it's good over a bathing suit it's good over anything i just love a really good button up i think ralph lauren is the way to go if you're going to the thrift store and trying to find one of these the ralph lauren men's shirts are so good and they wash really well but yeah you can't go wrong with like a white and blue pinstripe. It's just really nice. I have one formal dress in here and you would think it would be black, 
but it's not. It's not black. Um, it is leopard, but it is the formal dress I've worn multiple times to multiple events and multiple occasions. And I find that kind of rare in this day and age where everyone always wants like a new look or like a new item for a special occasion. Um, so when you have a really good one that you've ended up wearing so many different ways, like I feel like it's worth it to be shared. And it's also thrifted, but the shape of this is really good. And I'll link things that are similar. Um, it is by Denise. I don't know the brand really, but it is this like very Sex and the City vibes, cowl neck, slip, asymmetrical dress. I wore this in Los Angeles. I wore this um, to my friend's bridal shower. Like I've literally worn this like I've worn this so many different ways. I wore this to a an uh, influencer event recently. It's just so good. It looks good with heels. It looks good with the boots that I just showed. It's just really good. I think I'll have this forever too as long as it fits me. Um, yeah. I have two pairs of pants here. First one is this. These, as you can tell, have gone through many wears. Thrifted these in LA at the Rose Bowl Fleece so long ago. I think they are $30 or something like that. 30 35 bucks. I don't even know the style. I think my friend and I decided they were the 5'11s, but we don't know. They have a button fly. I've literally patched the butt so many times. I think they're on their last leg, unfortunately. I mean, I'll keep trying, but there's like, it just gets to the point where they just don't look the same anymore the more you patch them. They, again, washed pretty decently despite all the holes in them. They faded in all the right places. I just love these and I will search for another version of these until I find them because I love them so much. I'm gonna have something like this forever. I love the fit of them. I'll link again the wedgie fit. Um, I think that they're probably similar in terms of the way they shape around your butt and like the type of leg they are. But fortunately I haven't found anything that's like this, this good. And I wish I had more information about them, but I don't. And the next thing is actually surprising because you would think this would be a summer item, but it is not. It is my white Dickies. And I see a bunch of people thrifting these recently and I think that's so great because I found these in at the same LA trip as these ones, I'm pretty sure. But regardless, they, they've been with me since 2019 and I actually thrifted another pair of them because I love them so much. But they are just like the Dickies painter pants. You can actually just get these at Walmart. I didn't know that at the time. Um, but I love them. They're made of like a canvas, like cotton. They look really, really good with everything. They're really comfortable. Um, these ones are a size 32, 30, I believe. Yes, these are 32, 30, but I also have them in a 34, 30 for a slouchier fit, but they are just like a little too big. Like I think the 32, 30 is a little better. They're just really, really good. They just look good with everything. I think they're really chic. That is everything. Um, I also want to give a shout out to this ribbed brown turtleneck, which is something I also bring out every fall. And there's also matching pants to this that I love. The only reason why I don't share this a lot is because this is something that's hard to find another dupe of and they don't carry this anymore. Um, it's from Revolve, but that's the only reason why I don't show it because I feel like that's annoying to show something that you can't buy anymore and like there's nothing similar to it but if you do find something similar to this specific thing please let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video there's gonna be so many more to come so many more wedding videos so many more vlogs i've just been a little all over, i live i've been a little all over the place lately so if you guys want to follow me on instagram and tiktok that is definitely where i'm the most active at the moment but brace yourselves for youtube because there's so much coming and i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys